हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन रेक्टिलीनियर फिगर एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो टिल क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वी हैव डन एंड नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फर्स्ट पार्ट इन द गिवन फिगर ए बी सी डी इज अ पैलोग्राम विद पेरीमीटर फोर्टी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो फिगर इज गिवन हेयर एंड पेरीमीटर इज ऑल्सो गिवन फॉर दिस फिगर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू फॉर एक्स एंड वाई so as we know in parallelogram opposite sides are equal so we can write if this is 3x then this one also will be 3x this is 2x then this side also it will be 2x so first we will start with the perimeter perimeter is given 40 and perimeter means sum of all four sides so we can add all the four side 2x plus 3x Plus two x plus three x is equal to forty. We will get here ten x is equal to forty. So x value is forty by ten four. Now we can find out the side. Therefore, AB is equal to three into four, twelve centimeter. Then BC we can find out two into four eight centimeter. same way this is also dc also 12 and ad also 8 now we have to find out the value of y this dc is 2y plus 2 and we have calculated this equal to 12 so we can equate with 12 2y is equal to 12 minus 2 so 2y equal to 10 and y equal to 5 so we got here x value is 4 and y value is 5 next we have question number 5b part in the given figure abcd is a parallelogram find the value of x and y in this figure angles are given it means we have to think about the angle property of a parallelogram in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal and adjacent angles are supplementary so first we'll take this opposite angles are equal we can take here angle a is equal to angle c and reason is here opposite angles are equal angle a is 3x minus 20 and angle c is x plus 40 x we can shift here three x minus x is equal to forty plus twenty two x is equal to sixty degree so x value is thirty degree we got here x value next we have to find out the value of y to find out the y any two angle we can take these two we can take these are adjacent so their sum will be one eighty degree next angle a plus angle b is equal to one eighty degree reason adjacent angles are supplementary in a parallelogram angle a is 3x minus 20 b is y plus 15 equal to 180 x value already we have calculated 30 degree we can substitute here 3 into 30 minus 20 plus 15 will be minus 5 plus 5 equal to 180 this will be 90 minus 5 plus 5 equal to 180 85 plus y equal to 180 so y value will be 180 minus 85 One eighty minus eighty five will be ninety five degree. Next we have question number five C part. In the given figure A B C D is a rhombus. Find the value of x and y. So in this triangle you can see here these three sides are given. So first we will focus in this triangle only. In triangle A B D, A B is equal to A D. because it is a rhombus and all four sides of rhombus are equal so we can say here therefore angle abd 
is equal to angle ADB. This angle and this angle will be equal. And we will use now angle sum property. Therefore, angle ABD plus angle ADB plus 60 degree. This is equal to 180 degree. By angle sum property. These two are equal. So we can write ABD only in place of both. Two angle ABD is equal to 180 minus 60. We will get here 120 degree. So angle ABD is equal to 120 by 2 equal to 60 degree. It means this angle is 60 and this is also 60. All the three angles are equal. It means this ABD is an equilateral triangle. Therefore triangle ABD is an equilateral triangle. All the three sides are equal. Now we can equate the side. First if we take these two sides. AB is equal to AD. AB is given 3x plus 2 and AD is given 4x minus 4. We can find out x value from here. So minus x is equal to minus 6. So x value is 6. After getting x value this we can substitute in here. Any two other two side we will equate. We can equate AB is equal to BD. AB we have cal we can substitute here value for x and this is y minus 1. 3 into 6 plus 2 equal to y minus 1. 18 plus 2 equal to y minus 1. It will become 20 and this one we can shift here. So y value is 21. Next question number 6. The diagonals AC and BD of a rectangle ABCD intersect each other at C. If angle ABD is equal to 50 degree, find the angle DPC. So this angle is given. We have to find out this kind of angle. So first we will take this triangle. In triangle ABC, as we know, AP is equal to PB because diagonals bisect diagonals are equal and both the diagonals bisect each other also both the diagonals are equal and they bisect means their half half also will be equal so this side and this side is equal so we can write angle PAB is also equal to 50 degree these two angle will be same if it is 50 then this one also will be 50 degree now we can use angle sum property therefore by angle sum property angle PAB plus angle PBA plus angle APB is equal to 180 degree. This angle is 50 degree. This is also 50 degree and this we have to find out. 50 plus 50 will become 100 which we can shift another side. So we will get 180 minus 100 equal to 80 degree. So this angle we got here 80 degree and we have to find out this angle. So the angle DPC is also equal to 80 degree because these two angles are vertically opposite angle. Next we have question number 7th A part. In the given figure equilateral triangle EBC surmount X square ABCD. Find the angle BED represented by X. So first they have given this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all the three angles will be 60 degree. So this angle is 60 degree. This is also 60 degree and this complete angle is also 60 degree. 
Next A B C D is a square. Square means all the interior angle is ninety. This is ninety. This one ninety. This one ninety. And this total also will be ninety. Now we have to find out this angle. So we will calculate this angle. If suppose we'll take this is y, then we have to find out the x. X plus y is sixty. So we'll focus on this triangle. In triangle ECD, as we know, EC is equal to CD. This is an equilateral triangle, so all the three sides are equal. This is a square, so all the four sides are equal. It means this side and this side is also equal. EC is equal to CD. Therefore, angle CED is equal to angle CDE. Both are equal to Y. We can use angle sum property here. By angle sum property, y plus y plus this angle is sixty plus ninety means one fifty degree equal to one eighty degree. So two y is equal to one eighty minus one fifty equal to thirty degree. Y value will be thirty divided by two, fifteen degree. So we got this is equal to fifteen. This complete is sixty. Therefore, x is equal to sixty minus fifteen equal to forty five degree. Next is seventh question B part. In the given figure, ABCD is a rectangle and diagonals intersect at O. AC is produced to E and angle ECD is equal to one forty six degree. Find the angle of triangle AOB. So only this angle is given, and with the help of this, we have to find out angles of this triangle. So first, with the help of this, we can find out this angle. Angle ACD plus angle DCE. Is equal to one eighty degree. Both are on a straight line, linear pair angle. So angle ACD is equal to one eighty minus angle DCE. Means one eighty minus one forty six. This is equal to thirty four degree. This angle we got thirty four degree. So angle CAB, this angle also will be thirty four degree because these two are the alternate angle. If it is thirty four, then this one also will be thirty four because diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other, and both the diagonals are equal. So angle. O B A is equal to thirty four degree. Reason: diagonals of rectangle are equal and bisect each other. This triangle will be a isosceles triangle. Now we can use angle sum property here. Therefore, by angle sum property, angle CAB plus angle OBA plus angle AOB is equal to one eighty degree. Thirty four plus thirty four plus angle AOB is equal to One eighty degree, so angle AOB equal to one eighty minus thirty four. Thirty four will become sixty eight. So angle AOB is equal to hundred and twelve degree. Next we have seventh question C part. In the given figure, ABCD is a rhombus and diagonals intersect at O. If angle OAB ratio angle OBA is equal to three is to two. Find the angle of triangle AOD. So first, this ratio is given three to two for these two angle, angle OAB and angle OBA. 
so i have taken let this angle is 3x and this angle is 2x so this is 3x this is 2x as we know the angle uh, diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degree so this angle will be 90 degree now we can use angle sum property here 3x plus 2x plus 90 is equal to 180 degree 5x is equal to 180 minus 90 5x is equal to 90 so x value will be 90 divided by 5 equal to 18 degree so we got here angle OAB is equal to 3 into 18 54 degree and angle OBA is equal to 2 into 18 36 degree so these two we got and with the help of these two we have to find out angles for this triangle AOD. So here if we take this triangle ABT in triangle ABD because AB is equal to AD it is a rhombus ABCD is a rhombus all the four sides will be equal. So these two sides are equal it means it is an isosceles triangle so we can say this angle and this angle will be same therefore angle ABD is equal to angle ADB so angle ADB will be equal to this angle only 2x means this is equal to 36 degree and to find out this another angle angle DAO this angle we have to find out this we have calculated 36 degree this will be equal to 3x means 54 degree because diagonals of rhombus bisect the vertex angle this angle these diagonal will bisect so this will be 54 degree and this angle will be 90 degree angle AOD is equal to 90 degree so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions we will continue in the next video thank you for watching this video